I take a lot of pride in my how to use playlist. I mean, look at this. How cool is that? That we have a move set for every fully evolved Pokemon in the game. And I mean, even not fully evolved Pokemon, that Numel can be useful. That a Pokemon seemingly insignificant, like Cast Form, is actually pretty powerful. And if you have any kind of favorite Pokemon that seems to be overlooked, like what if Whiskash is your favorite Pokemon? Well, you can just click on it and figure out how to use it and then find its untapped power. That's what I really like about it. Same for a Pokemon like Cast Form that it's actually pretty powerful and gets cool amounts of coverage. That's the idea of this playlist. It's all about discovery. It's all about just unlocking every single Pokemon's potential. However, there are some keen-eyed viewers out there that might notice the absence of a specific Pokemon known as Love Disc. Now, I just kind of wrote this one off by saying, you know what? If you're looking for a pink heart-shaped fish Pokemon, just... Forget about Love Disk and go straight to Alomomola because it's a better Pokemon all the way. And then we can just kind of resume with our lives. Now, some people might even say it's like a conspiracy theory that I just pretend that Love Disk doesn't exist. I know that there's been a ton of requests that people will just post Love Disk movesets and video after video after video, and I completely ignore it. Well, they're right. It is a conspiracy theory. I'm trying to uphold the integrity of this list right here, that I want every competitive Pokemon ever, and Love Disk just does not fit in there. I mean, I've even given Unknown some recognition by at least cheesing out a moveset of something you can do with it, but Love Disk I never thought would ever do much of anything, even after looking at all the potential movesets. However, the plans experienced uh, complications recently when we see this video right here. I mean, this is like footage of undeniable proof that Love Disk can do something and that creates problems. I guess I can't live this lie anymore. So here it is, a Love Disk moveset. Now the biggest thing that was stopping me is that when you look at Love Disk, it's really only good for one thing, and that's Entrainment Swift Swim. Now to Love Disk credit, it's the only Pokemon that can do this. And when we take the list of Swift Swim Pokemon, yeah, you can maybe find some skill swap in here, but Entrainment works out really well because you preserve that Swift Swim, that you're going fast, and then your allied Pokemon's going fast, and you don't really have to gimmick it out too much, and you can always maintain some form of speed control, and the list of entrainment Pokemon is actually very slim, so Love Disk has something going for in that kind of special way, but even with all that, it's kind of, eh, not that fantastic. Like, okay, you give Swift Swim to an allied Pokemon. Now what? All right, I guess it's useless after all, and then we can kind of see that it doesn't really have much else going for it. Um. Yeah, it gets Draining Kiss, but no special attack to really make it work with. It can set up Hail or Rain Dance, and I guess that Rain Dance kind of works for a Swift Swim. But other than that, you don't really have too much else going for it. And then just some supportive moves from there. There's our Entrainment, and then there's just stuff right there. However, after further reviewing the video, or just watching it for the first time and understanding what's going on, we have not seen just one off chance where Love Disk has been an impact. We see two, actually three, battles, even legendaries involved, so anything is possible right here, and then it kind of showed the one key aspect, that in training Swift Swim onto an ally is actually more powerful than I thought. Now I wanted to see if there was any significance to the Love Disk that Roland was using, so I went back through the video, and we can see that Love Disk actually has 118 hit points. So that's where I started off with on the stats, which means there's no hit point investment right here, so I have no idea what he's doing. All I could guess is max speed, Max something. Now, maxing out the hit points would probably be the most beneficial in Love Disk's case, or going some kind of split, like 200, trying to survive some kind of moveset right here. After that, probably the rest in defense. Go with a special defense nature, because, I mean, this is more than enough speed. This is effectively 300 base speed at level 100, but since we're cutting it down to level 50, just for all these speed scenarios and whatnot, doubling this to almost 300 is actually very impactful. So let's bring up the level 100 to show you guys. Yeah, 293 on just a neutral nature, which means we could go into some kind of Eh, careful or calm, doesn't really matter. Since we have Icy Wind, calm is technically better, but we're not really expecting to do too much damage. Anyway, so this should give us enough tankiness to at least survive and start helping out allied Pokemon. I mean, it's in the shape of a heart, so should at least be beneficial in that way, and we see a lot of support right here. Also, we don't really get an idea of the item, so either a Bright Powder works here, we didn't see much off of a Leftovers, or a Citrus Berry. So, I mean, you could use Citrus Berry, Bright Powder, 
focus sash we didn't even see a focus sash but if you want to make sure that you can get as many uses out of love disc as possible focus sash might work out but since we are investing our hit points kind of takes away from that that we want to be tanky enough to survive more than one hit so focus sash in anticipation of not eh, kind, of, kind of counterintuitive they can start to see why I didn't want to make a moveset to begin with that this Pokemon's identity is kind of split I also think that icy wind might even be a bad choice of move here because we're not really expecting too much damage if love disc is your final Pokemon on the field I don't think there's gonna be many situations where the opponent is down to only one hit points and won't be able to KO you in that scenario and then you're able to like outspeed on Icy Wind and then win. Now Icy Wind is also really good for speed control because 1% chance to lower the foe's speed by 1. But the idea is to have Swift Slim up so having a lot of rain going for you and then playing around like that means lowering your opponent's speed doesn't really accomplish much unless you're in a Tailwind scenario. So depending on how much speed control you want, yes Icy Wind, if you want more support, no onto Icy Wind. But then your core moves are going to be Safeguard, Entrainment, Heal Pulse. Safeguard is really cool because it's just going to let you outspeed and unless the opponent has prankster then you can set up the safeguard and now you're not getting status now you don't have to worry about getting thunder wave and paralyzed then being slower and then we have the core move of entrainment also heal pulse heal pulse keeps your allied pokemon's health up and then we're good to go now kyogre was the first pokemon that we saw here and it had lumberry as an item and i thought that this was as crazy as it was brilliant also we can look at the evs so 188 hit point evs that way we're just putting just enough speed evs to outspeed a lot of stuff so modest nature special attack the idea is first turn you just pump in that entrainment onto the kyogre and then you're good to go from there and we did see the water spout other than water spout i can you know just guess there's probably thunder protect and then ice beam now the moveset starts to fall into place from here because first turn we get to see that kyogre it can't protect because you need to be receiving that entrainment so it just has to throw out a move and hope for the best but since you're using water spout as a main damaging move kind of put you at risk if you take too much damage then water spout isn't doing a lot and this is where love disc actually being faster than kyogre works out so you outspeed heal pulse pull kyogre's health back up water spout and then everything dies because rain and kyogre and super amounts of damage and that works out pretty well now lumberry just helps with the status because on that first turn you're using entrainment and kyogre isn't protecting or anything so you if you eat a thunder wave or something it goes away they waste a turn then you set up the safeguard and since they use status instead of damage kyogre is free to water spout and you're good to go now we also saw a lot of other crazy pokemon like ursa ring ursa ring just had rain dance last resort so it sets its own rain and then it goes last resort after getting the swift swim it outspeeds and then destroys everything and then it gets you know the safeguard or heal pulse or whatever support that love disc can provide for the ursa ring and people might might not understand how much of a threat how much damage this thing is going to be putting out also because you are going to be boosting speed boom we can go into the adamant nature also i'll turn this down to level 50 for the necessary speed and damage calculations and whatnot adamant huge amounts of damage stab last resort you can do whatever as for items life orb is a pretty solid item to put down right here and that's kind of really it that's mad amounts of damage other pokemon we saw politoed now politoed is interesting it's also the reason why we're using kyogre instead of primal kyogre that primal kyogre once it leaves the field gg done it's gone there's no more rain which kind of takes away from the whole swift swim idea so just in case kyogre gets focused down knocked out early love disc can still entrain the next pokemon coming in and that's another idea behind entrainment that you're not skill swapping that you don't have to worry about trying to retrieve your swift swim you can just keep spamming it on whatever new pokemon is coming in can switch out you can switch in you can play a lot of mind games right there and then you're still gonna have rain because of kyogre also you'd have the lumberry advantage over the other kyogre that would be primal or something like that so politoed comes in and we saw politoed even has rain dance so we can set up on drizzle but if rain's already out and then goes away we have rain dance so i imagine that there was a damp rock and then you just always keep rain on the field then you can entrain politoed now it's going to be super fast it can do hydro pump it can do ice beam and then we're good to go now i do see some coverage potential problems right here maybe scald that way we can also get some kind of burn down onto the opponent but yeah we the coverage is kind of lacking whenever you're running some kind of range team that you have ice and then you also have water and then maybe you have an electric attack kind of just specked in there and then you're going to be good to go so that's why i was thinking other than politoed a hurricane pokemon could be pretty nice and really any hurricane pokemon works at that point but actually looking at the list of pokemon that learn hurricane we're kind of limited right here maybe volcarona that way you can give it some speed but it's not going to get stab off of that 
Uh, Dragonite has a 100 base special attack, so it can maybe do something with that. And Cast Form will get the Rain Form, so you can use Thunder, Hurricane, get Weather Ball, and get all kinds of high base power out of it. But how however, we're using Love Disk, so Love Disk isn't supporting with any damage, which means you need to be using super high damaging, mega blasting moves the entire time. Therefore, I don't really see too much where I think Dragonite is going to be your best bet, maybe go for Mixed or some way. It, it's so weird and technical though, because you're getting outsped since Love Disk has Swift Swim. Which is a problem, because it's like, say, even if you make like a masterful play, you're always going to be losing that multi-scale before your opponent can attack, because that's the whole idea behind the speed control. Like, if only there was a way to make it work out, I'm thinking like, Weakness Policy is one of your better bets, but maybe not running that in for something else? I mean, if you are expecting that, maybe just have Inner Focus. That actually might throw off some opponents, that they try to fake out your Dragonite, then you go and just toss down an entrainment onto them, get them the Swift Swim, that way they're going to work out later on in the turn, and then you can just start throwing out Thunder, Hurricane, Outrage, whatever kind of damage you need to put from there. As for the item in that situation, I guess a Life Orb, but here's the thing, like, if you get that Swift Swim going, we don't need Speed Investment, so we can still do lots of damage like this. Except we aren't getting the weakness policy, which is like key to Dragonite one-shotting everything. We do are running like the higher base power. This is such a weird idea. I don't know, it like it can work. Just explore those options. I guess that that's the best thing about this. Is that we saw Pokemon used in the video, but there's tons of other ideas that we can take a list of Swiss Swim Pokemon and we can combo it in. We saw a Kingdra. Well, yeah, you Kingdra Draco Meteor, boom, you now come in with the Swiss Swim and you don't have to worry about in training. So you can either entrain Pokemon that want to be faster, or just ignore it. Keep the rain up and try to put out as much damage as possible. Unfortunately, Love Disk in those situations aren't going to be able to give you a lot of damage, and that's kind of a big thing. Manaphy with Tail Glow, so I mean, Tail Glow, Entrainment, now you have a plus three Manaphy, outspeeding everything and then putting down mad damage. You can also use this as an excuse to give yourself a little extra coverage on that Energy Ball, Ice Beam, Scald, and then Manaphy dunks everything. Also you have Rain, so your Scald is doing a lot of damage and then plus three and all kinds of shenanigans. So, mostly opening up the ideas as to the Pokemon you should be able to use, comboing with Love Disk, making sure you control the Rain and then you're good to go. As for other moves Love Disk can learn, you can have it bring Rain Dance for itself in like those Dragonite scenarios. So, you have to see what your opponent is up to. First turn, and what if one of their Pokemon is going for setup? I don't know what Pokemon I have. They're going for setup, and then they have a fake out Pokemon, so they try to fake out your Dragonite. Well, you have Inner Focus, so that means you're not going to flinch, and then you throw out the Hurricane or the Thunder to try to get the most damage possible, which is why probably a modest nature would work since you are going to be primarily special in this situation. Also, Love Disk can just bring its own Rain Dance, that in those situations where you don't have Pokemon setting up for itself, Love Disk, it can go Rain Dance, then Entrainment, but then you'd also, maybe, okay, you use Entrainment on the Pokemon to give it Swift Swim, then you protect while you Rain Dance, and then things could happen. See, that's why, I like, Love Disk starts to fall apart in some situations. Your best bet, Kyogre, a Drizzle Pokemon, a Pokemon already setting up Rain Dance next to you, so that way on the turn you're using Rain Dance with that Pokemon, it's also going to be receiving the Entrainment, and then cool stuff happens. Also, Love Disk gets Charm, that if you're not running the Icy Wind kind of idea, Charm works out really well. Lowers the target's attack by two. Well, this is going to be before they have a chance to hit you, since you are outspeeding them with that Swift Swim. This is good for bulkier Pokemon, so legendaries that are going to be receiving this, or just tankier Pokemon that are trying to go a little faster. I mean, Dragonite has a lot of natural bulk, 91, 95, 100 on its defensive stats, so it can take in those hits. So in those situations, what you want to do is just charm the opponent you're not attacking. So Dragonite, it chooses a Pokemon, locks it down, blows it up, any Pokemon does that. Earth Ring as well, like Rain Dance Last Resort, well, the Last Resort's going to knock out a Pokemon, but the other Pokemon's relatively untouched, which is why you want to charm it if it is a physical attacker. So you focus down the special attackers, the physical attackers aren't doing as much back to you, then you can also Heal Pulse after all that damage has gone through, and then you can really lock down one of your opponent's Pokemon through the Love Disk, and then have the other allied Pokemon knock it out and stuff like that. So I think that's it. A lot of Love Disk potential is just like entrainment, doing a one trick thing, and then finding the right composition. And from what we saw for the Fan Fridays, works out pretty well right here. So there are some things that can that need work, that need to be like perfected in a lot of scenarios. But if you want to learn the strategy, go have fun. Hopefully this helps you out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.